What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another insane purchase. This is the most expensive Yu-Gi-Oh purchase I've ever made. And this one cost me $8,500. Yes, it's awesome. It's crazy. Sent to me by Victor. He wanted me to say his name on the video, so I did it. And every time I say Victor, I think X-Men Origins Wolverine. I don't know about you guys. Victor! You know when he does that? Like the whole movie? Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. So Victor sent us some insane stuff. Maybe we'll be talking like Wolverine half this time. Okay, for the giveaway, we give away these three cards. Yes, the number 17 Leviathan that we pulled, the Ultra Rare, Intercept Wave, we also pulled this, and a Spellbook of Secrets. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, let me know your favorite card from this collection. You're gonna have a lot of stuff to choose from. So now I'm gonna move the camera and hopefully give us a good binder angle. I don't, we're gonna do it a little bit different this time to hopefully get the binders in there. Well, first we're gonna open this binder up. I've been maneuvering around. Maybe we can finally get in a nice spot to show you guys everything in here without anything falling out. So I think we're good to go. A few cards fell out. Here is the best one, an Ultimate Rare XX Saber Hunley. Then we got a couple of foils and then a common. So basically this collection, guys, is just a bunch of the best cards from 5Ds. So use your imagination. There's some good stuff coming. So here we go. In the back we have Montage Dragon. That's a first edition from the Duelist Genesis. So the Duelist Genesis, extremely hard to find. You guys know that is not, I mean, not going to be a cheap card. Then we got, you know, we got commons in here. We have Dark Hunter. That's an ultimate rare from the Duelist Genesis. That's also first edition. Then you guys see some of the epicness, guys. Check this out. Stardust Dragon Ghost Rare. We have Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare. Let's check this out. This is first edition. The Ghost Rare is not first edition. That would be pretty insane. But here's the Stardust Dragon Ultimate Rare. Looks like it is in really nice. It's supposed to be near mint, so it looks good. Check that out. Ultimate Rare. That is incredible. We've got the Ghost Rare right there. Let's just show it off just because it is Stardust Dragon. You kind of have to look at it. Red Dragon Archfiend down there as well. The Ultimate Rare. We did pull one of those in a Duelist Genesis video once. Check that video out. I mean, look at that card. You guys love Stardust. There is, I think, maybe like a little scratch on the foil, but pretty good. Go Your Guardian. We've got some other nice cards. Yeah, the Red Dragon Archfiend's down here. It's in the glare. There we go. Then we have a uh, Thought Ruler Archfiend. That's an ultimate rare right there. Next, Emergency Teleport's a pretty actually um, pretty expensive ultimate rare, even in Unlimited, so that's pretty cool. Psychic Overload, ultimate rare. Looks like more commons and a couple supers. The Gladiator Beast War Chariot's worth a little bit. Cyber Shark, that's a secret rare. That is only unlimited, but still cool. Counselor Lily. Fiendish Engine from the Duelist Genesis Secret Rare. We've got another first edition Ice Master. Those are some nice secrets. That's not first ed, but it is. Oh, check this one out. Charge of the Light Brigade. One of the best cards from the set, so that's really cool. And Toy Magician. That's first edition. And Kunai with Chain. What is this? What is this? All right. Now we hop into Crossroads, guys. You guys know what's in Crossroads of Chaos. So we got pretty cool cards there. I mean, just check out all these. There's some nice rares, some nice commons. Iron Chain Blaster. There's a Plague Spreader Zombie, one of the best ultimate rares. Uh, that one is not first edition, unfortunately. And yes, guys, you guys see it. You guys see it. First edition, Ghost Rare, Black Rose Dragon. And not only that, first edition, ultimate rare, Black Rose. So let's start off with the ultimate rare and see what it looks like. Oh my goodness. Check this card out. That is definitely nice, near mint condition. Pretty epic. Black Rose Dragon, incredible. Now we see the big one, the big card. The Ghost Rare Black Rose, can it be in mint condition? Here we go, let's see. Check this card out, guys. Wow. That is an incredible shape. Oh my goodness. We got to penny sleeve that because this is a PSA worthy card, I think. Even a nine in this card is really nice. But honestly, it looks like maybe even a PSA 10 candidate, which would be crazy. Which would be crazy. Even a nine will be awesome. One of my favorite ghost rares just looks really nice. So we're going to set this one aside for sure. There's a print line on the back. They don't really care too much about like one half a print line or something like that. 
can still get a 10 usually. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna top loader this card, guys. Because do you guys know the value on this card? This is one of the main reasons, you know, this collection costs so much, because it had a minty black rose in it. So that is incredible. We're gonna set that one to the side. Absolutely insane, incredible, awesome card. So thanks again, Victor! Yeah, I'm gonna reference X-Men a few times. Let me know if you guys like that movie, because I know a lot of people don't like that movie, a lot of people do that like that movie. Honestly, I like it, so yeah, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. Mark of the Rose is there. Revive King Hades, I think, is one of the cooler cooler cards from this set. We have a Psychokinesis in here. That card's actually pretty expensive, because when it's in first dead. Yeah, by the way, if you thought we were done, we're not done. Yeah, just remember this thing costs $8,500, so there's, there's more good stuff in here. Yeah, I'm going to go through everything, though. We don't want to miss anything. We got Seed of Flame, Overdrive Teleporter. That's cool. Tempest Magician, First Dead. Retiar is from Crossroads of Chaos. I did not know that. That's cool. Yeah, I don't really love this binder because the cards just kind of fly around. But it also did, you know, travel overseas. So you got to remember that. So maybe it's a little better when you're not doing that. There's a Time Machine. That's a cool uh, anime card that Bandit Keith used. Divine Neos. That's cool. Now I have a play set of those, actually. Yes, check this out, guys. The next one, the Ghost Rare, Red Dragon Archfiend, Assault Mode, and the Ultimate Rare version. I now have three of the Ultimate Rare version. I sold my Ghost um, because I knew I was getting this one. So let's see what it looks like. This one, I think, was just near mint. Yeah, it has some silvering. The, the Foil X looks really good, which is my number one thing with Ghost. The back looks pretty good. Yeah, it's basically just the, uh, the outside silvering. Is pretty much its only issue. It looks really nice. Red Dragon Archfiend Assault Mode. That is cool. Then you got the Ultimate Rare. We're not going to pull that one out right now, but it is really cool. So that's pretty epic. What, what are we on? Crimson Crisis? Is that what this set is? Yeah. The, oh, yeah. Arcanite Magician Assault Mode is epic. I love this card. And then this card looks really cool. This just has some really good artwork in this set, I got to say. I don't know what you guys think, but I, I definitely do. That's a weird card, though. That is a very weird card. All right, then we got Blackwing Armor Master down there, an ultimate rare. I didn't know he came from this set either. There's a lot of cards I didn't know they came from here. So pretty cool. There's Arcanine Magician, super rare. Hyper Psychic Blaster, ulti. There's more commons in that one. Not Nothing too crazy. More commons. I think there's like almost the whole set in here. Possibly their whole set, I don't know. Bone Crusher Ultimate Rare. I remember uh, yu gi -Oh pulled that one against me once. Back when I was actually beating him in battles. Dark Voltana Secret Rare. Prime Material Falcon. That's the one I pulled. Out of one of my two boxes. Multiply. It's a cool card from the anime. Gotta love that one. Got a few Secret Rares down here. Wow, that's like five Secret Rares in a row. No, that's an Ultimate Rare. Tethys Goddess of Light. We pulled that in, in Unlimited one time. That's cool. That might have actually been in the 10K special. Or maybe it was out of a 10. I can't remember. I mean, that was out of a 10 too, but... Okay, we're in a Raging Battle, guys. <laughs> you guys know it's in Raging Battle. The Power Tool Dragon, which has now gotten really expensive. So, Evil Thorn's a, an expensive common. There's the uh, the Raven. Oh, and we got some big boys. We got the uh, Earthbound Immortals. Those guys are pretty expensive too in first edition. Quacky Mirror Dragon Ultimate Rare. Oh, yeah, the classic psychic guy. Here it is, Power Tool, guys. Check it out, Power Tool Dragon. Ultimate Rare. This card's like 90 bucks now instead of 50 or something. I think it went up from there. Check that one out. We actually pulled one, and it was like an 8. So that was kind of sad. So this one's actually maybe a little better than the one I pulled. That's pretty cool. Ultimate Rare. Let's check out the Ghost Rare. First edition, by the way, which is now like a $450 card because of the ban list and then they you know apparently it's getting used or something i don't know but check this one out this one looks really nice the centering is awful on it but still really cool power tool dragon this one can only um no that's not true that's not true this one is has nothing to do with the tens but uh recently it's gotten super expensive so that's pretty cool exploder dragon trident dragon those are cool we've got uh, one for one yeah, this is not gonna lie, this is gonna hurt my back. <laughs> this the way this sitting like this is just so awkward because I have to look up to see what I'm what you guys are seeing to make sure you guys can see it. Oh, Forbidden Chalice. I forgot about that. Card is expensive, actually. It's like 90 bucks first dead. Forgot that card was in there. There's actually some really good value in Raging Battle. 
Especially now that Power Tool is that expensive. Okay, King of the Beasts. That's pretty cool. Light in Dragon. That's first edition. That's sweet. Chaos in Master. Like, I haven't even seen some of these cards. The Ojamas. Gotta love them. Ojama Country. Is that still like 10, 15 bucks as a rare? I don't know. I haven't checked in a while. Okay, now we're on Ancient Prophecy, guys. Ancient Prophecy. We've got Curryban. Curryban. Another Earthbound Immortal. Those are cool. Now, this is a 10 set. You can only get in the 10s. And uh, X Saber Power Ups, apparently. Those as well. Okay, but still, no booster boxes. Unless there has been like one European box. Okay, here it is. Ancient Fairy Dragon, Ghost Rare. We have one of these in Unlimited. That one you guys sold me that was like near perfect. It should get a 10, honestly. We're grading it. Let's see about this one. Wow. That's a really nice card. Honestly, that could get a 10 too. Wait, let's check. The, the top looks a little bit funky maybe? No, it's not much. I don't know. That card looks really nice. Maybe we should grade that one too. Ghost Rare. Ancient Fairy Dragon. Insane. Insane. That's awesome. Then we got the Ultimate Rare version as well. That's pretty insane. Ancient Sacred Wyverns from this set? I didn't know that. That's cool. It is in Legendary Collection 5D, so it makes sense. That's the version I have owned. Okay. Fossil Dig. Nice common. It's now uh, the, in OTS is super, and that's the one we pull all the time from OTS 7. It's pretty funny. Here we go. Quacky Mirrors. More of those. We got a... Uh, more, that's a Quacky Mirror. Card Guard's in here. Cool. Flame Veil Commando. That's pretty sweet. White Knight Dragon. I've always liked that card. I think it looks really good. Oh, Armatile. I forgot about Armatile. That's so cool. Secret Rare. That's all the Sacred Beast Fusion. That is really sweet. Elements Hero Gaia and Kasha. All right. Here we go. Got a couple rares. We got some stuff like that, you know. A few things. Oh, more Earthbound Immortals. All right, this one's from Stardust Overdrive. So we got some unlimited Earthbound Immortals. But that's still really cool. Crusader of Endymion. Not much first edition in this in this set. Yeah, we do have the Ghost Rare. This one is not first edition, though. This one is unlimited, but still. This is a Majestic Star Dragon Ghost Rare. So that's pretty incredible. That card looks really, really nice, guys. Ghost Rare. We got the Ultimate Rare, too. That one's also unlimited. Okay. Explosive Magician. We got Raging Mad Plants. More commons and rares. Limit Impulse. Alright, Dark Smorg. Victoria. Ice Queen. Archlord Christia. Wow, that's some sweet... Oh, Guardian Iatos. Now, I'm just overflowing with those recently. I keep getting those. Oh, Battle Fader Ultimate Rare. That's cool. That is cool. We got a... Oh, Gravekeeper's Priestess. Gotta love that. Gravekeepers are clutch. Ooh, First Edition. Uh, Witch of the Black Rose. That's cool. We got a Quaki Miru... What is that? Urn Knight? That's pretty sweet. Oh, man. Gravekeeper's Visionary is about to fly out. He's not sleeve, so... Oh, yes. Majestic Red Dragon Ghost. Let's check this out. This one is first edition. Ancient Prophecy. No, not Ancient Prophecy. Sorry. Absolute Power Force. Yeah. I have not owned one of these in a while. I did have one a while back. I bought it for like... I won an auction for like 24 bucks for a near mint one. It was crazy. There's the Ultimate Rare version. The Ultimate Rare version is still cheap. I have the uh, 9 back there. You guys can't really see it because of the angle. But here we go. All right. And they, some of the cards slid over on that one. All right, guys. I actually didn't, <laughs> didn't realize these were actually inside. They were in the plastic for that these were bought in. So I thought these were just new binders he sent. There were actually more. I was like, wait a second. We're missing some. And uh, yeah, so let's see what's in here, guys. There's some cool stuff. More Absolute Power Force. It's continuing on. So it looks like we picked up the right spot, I guess. Uh, this goes into the Shining Darkness, which we just opened recently. So this is pretty cool. You guys can see all the cards here. I can, I can speed a little bit. Oh, yeah. Blackwing Dragon. Ghost Rare, guys. Blackwing Dragon. The Ghost. First Edition. Check this out. That's incredible. Ghost Rare Blackwing Dragon. 
Blackwing Dragon Ultimate Rare, Inferno Doom Dragon. Those are all first edition. That's crazy. Let's see. Can you guys see all this? There we go. These are... Okay, Into the Void Ultimate. That's an expensive card. That's pretty awesome. So here we go. Let's see. We got uh, some Secret Rares. Saber Vault, Wave Motion Inferno, Infernity Barrier. A um, couple more up there. Let's see, what are we on now? We're still, we're on Duelist Revolution, guys. There's some good cards in here. So there is the Dr Draco Skit. I don't know how to say this guy, but he's a ghost rare. He's pretty awesome. He's gone up. This one is uh, has a little bit of scratches, but I knew about that one. Um, Ultimate Rare version. We've got some other ultis. Oh, there's the Bamboo Shoots. Um, Watt Chimera. I always pull that guy in Ultra Rare whenever I open Duelist Revolution. Pot of Duality. The Pot of Awesome, guys. Here we go. Pot of Awesome. Oh, it's not even sleeved. Come on. What's going on here? All right. Pot of Duality. Pot of Awesome. I don't think he's that expensive right now. That's probably why, but still really cool. We finally got a Pot of Awesome. We've got a Solemn Warning, guys. Ultimate Rare First Edition Solemn Warning. Check that out. Never owned this card in Ultimate at all, so that's really cool. That is really cool. We got a Chivalry down here in the bottom right. Psychic Nightmare. Got some other cool cards in here. Got that Pineapple. Wait, did we miss, um... Did we miss Effect Veiler? Pretty sure Effect Veiler's in here somewhere. I think we might have missed it. It's in here somewhere. I gotta find it. Might have been up here. You guys are probably yelling at me if it was already... Yeah, there it is. You guys are probably like, Effect Veiler! This card is one of the most expensive, maybe the most expensive card from the set. So that's pretty crazy. Hand Trap, first edition, ultimate. So that's cool. Um, I accidentally skipped it. So sorry about that. Okay. I didn't realize we had started D-Rev at that point. So I wasn't really looking for it. Star Strike Blast. We got a glow up bulb. That card's actually expensive. Shooting Star Dragon. I mean, absolutely awesome. Ghost Rare. Check this one out. Oh my goodness. Does have some scratches on the foil, but pretty nice overall, I think. Then you got the ultimate rare version, obviously, which is nuts. Super awesome. Yeah, the uh, Formula Synchron, I guess this is the first set. Is that a rare? That's cool. So yeah, this, I think this might be the end. Is this the end? No, no, it's not because we have another one. Troll and Lockbirds are rare in the set. I mean, the set's just loaded. It's just loaded. We do have one more binder, so... Absolutely insane, obviously, guys. There's just some insanity in here. All right. Final binder. Final epicness. There is some uh, still more to come. There's some more good stuff. Okay. We got Loki, Lord of the Acer. We got Odin, Father of the Acer, first edition. Check that Ghost Rare out. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. First edition Ghost Rare. You got all these ultimates around him. Let's see if we can get in the right spot. Okay, you got, so you can see the Six Samurai Shien. Wat Chimera. Chaos Hunter, I always seem to get that card. Here we go. Max C, guys. Secret Rare. Max C is, <laughs> it's always expensive, even if it's banned. Secret Rare Max C. We actually pulled one a while back. Check that out. It was a long time ago, actually. Sold it to yu gi -Oh, so he now has it. So yeah, pretty awesome. Pretty epic cards. Oh my goodness. There's Junk Berserker. I've never owned that one. It's pulled out. I mean, even though it is Junk Berserker, it's one of the cheaper ones, but still, it's really cool. Junk Berserker. Extreme Victory. You guys know what else is an Extreme Victory? Tour Guide. Okay. Got some epic cards. We got the, uh, the Neos Knight Ultimate Rare. That's pretty crazy. And... Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's more. There's another Black Rose. Unlimited. Okay, there we go. Another Stardust. There's an Ancient Fairy Dragon. There's two Ultimate Rare Maxis. By the way, those are, like, insane. They're, like, 400 bucks. Oh, Pot Agree. That would be nice to put in my uh, Goat decks. And then we got a Chaos Sorcerer is going to be used in my Goat decks. We've got two of those in the Ultra Rare version and another Battle Fader. So I think that's it. Yeah, so that's everything, guys. This collection is absolutely insane. Let me know what you thought about it. I mean, just absolutely insane cards insane cards like here's just a few i pulled out you know a few just average cards right there you know there's some pretty good stuff in there so that's pretty awesome okay that's just the random ones that fell out then of course the hit 
not hit, but you know, the, the reason I bought this basically, the number one reason was the Black Rose. So pretty awesome. Thanks again, Victor, for this epic collection. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure you hit subscribe for more epic content coming up. And also I am selling a lot of stuff on Instagram to help pay for this. So if you guys want to follow me there and on Twitter, my name is Ruxin34 on both of them. So go hit me with a follow there on Instagram, especially is where I'm selling Twitter. I'm just tweeting out some stuff. It's a lot of fun. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero Dark Bright. Boom! Oh.